Hello everyone, welcome to Saturday and welcome to evening prayer on this feast day of St. James the Apostle. Um, today's gospel about James and his brother John, uh, we hear the story of when on their behalf, their mother went to Jesus and asked Jesus if uh, when they got to the kingdom of heaven, her two sons might sit at his right and his left hand. In other words, uh, they wanted to have positions of power, authority, honor at, uh, in, in heaven. And uh, of course, Jesus says, that's not for me to, uh, to give. And, uh, you know, for us, really, we have to think about humility uh, and and just allowing allowing our egos and our own uh, inflated self sense of worth to uh, abate a little bit and allow God's will to be done and his work to be done in his way and in his uh, you know he's the author He's the author. We're just uh, uh, his children, you know. And one of in one of the other accounts of this gospel, just when Jesus said a child and said, "If you want to be uh, a leader, if you want to be first, you have to be last. If you want, to, you know, to be well thought of, you have to be a servant." And so, you know, that's a good lesson for us to uh, to want to be. Um, a giver and not a taker. I want to be uh, a uh, a servant and uh, just take care of others, tend to the needs and desires of, of other people, and less focus on our own on our own uh, desires and, and needs. And I think uh, that'll be will be well served in living a life like that. So through the example of, uh, of James and John, two of the apostles, uh, we get a lesson in, in humility and a lesson in who's, even Jesus said, it's not for me, I, it's my father that, that does that. So even Jesus, he said he came to serve and not be served and, and uh, he served his father's will. And if he can do that, cannot we do likewise and uh, not look for that seat of power, authority, and honor, uh, but just uh, be happily invited, you know, and uh, that's, uh, that's, that's our goal, I think, is to be happily invited into God's kingdom. Welcome, my good and faithful child, you know, come into my father's house where I've prepared a place for you. That's what I want to hear, you know, and uh, that's, uh, I think, for all of us, I think that would be uh, something that we should all aspire to, is just hope that that invitation presents itself, and we're not locked out because of uh, our turning our backs on our, on our God. So today we honor uh, the Apostle James. Now I'm not sure, I'm gonna to have to look this up, but the, uh, the, the letter of James in, the, uh, in scripture, I have to look and see if it's credited to the Apostle James. I, I have a suspicion that it is and it's a terrific book. It's I, I kind of look at the book of James like a uh, Boy Scout manual. It's a lot of good how-to information uh, about living uh, our lives in the book of James. And of course, that book was one of the ones that Martin Luther uh, didn't really like because it talks a lot about how we are to, uh, to do things. You know, he's one of those faith alone guys and uh, it doesn't matter what we do or don't do 
but in the book of James, it's all about uh, uh, faith without action is, is empty. Our faith really impels us to do things and to be uh, productive and helpful to one another. So uh, I'm not sure. I'll let you know tomorrow when I, after I look it up that the Apostle James, who we celebrate today, is indeed uh, responsible uh, for that wonderful, wonderful book of Scripture. So let's do our evening prayer, shall we? And we'll begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. I have called to you, Lord, hasten to help me. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer arise before you like incense, the raising of my hands like an evening oblation. Set, O Lord, a guard over my mouth. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Do not turn my heart to things that are wrong, to evil deeds with men who are sinners. Never allow me to share in their feasting. If a good man strikes or reproves me, it is kindness. But let the oil of the wicked not anoint my head. Let my prayer be ever against their malice. Their princes were thrown down by the side of the rock. Then they understood that my words were kind. As a millstone is shattered to pieces on the ground, so their bones were strewn at the mouth of the grave. To you, Lord God, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge. Spare my soul from the trap they have laid for me. Keep me safe. Keep me from the snares of those who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is worthy of all praise. Let our prayer come like incense before you. May the lifting up of our hands be as an evening sacrifice acceptable to you, Lord our God. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. With all my voice, I cry to the Lord. With all my voice, I entreat the Lord. I pour out my trouble before him. I tell him all my distress. While my spirit faints within me, but you, O Lord, you know my path. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see there is not one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I have said you are my refuge, all I have left in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble because of your goodness to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, we humbly ask for your goodness. May you help us to hope in you and give us a share with your chosen ones in the land of the living. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. The Lord Jesus humbled himself and God exalted him forever. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of man. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, 
obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. A reading from the letter to the Romans. How deep are the riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God! How inscrutable his judgments! How unsearchable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Who has given him anything so as to deserve return? For from him and through him and for him all things are. To him be glory forever. Amen. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. We praise the wisdom which wrought them all as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he sold everything he had and bought it. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he sold everything he had and bought it. We give glory to the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And in our weakness we pray, Lord, be with your people. Holy Lord, Father all-powerful, let justice spring up on the earth. Then your people will dwell in the beauty of peace. Lord, be with your people. Let every nation come into your kingdom, so that all peoples will be saved. Lord, be with your people. Let married couples live in your peace and grow in mutual love. Lord, be with your people. Reward all who have done good to us, Lord, and grant them eternal life. Lord, be with your people. Look with compassion on victims of hatred and war. Grant them heavenly peace. Lord, be with your people. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.
God, our Father and Protector, without you nothing is holy, nothing has value. Guide us to everlasting life by helping us to use wisely the blessings you have given to the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless each and every one of you, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You guys have a terrific night, and I hope your Sunday is filled with God's blessings. See you tomorrow, and I'll remember to look up that uh, authorship of the book of James in Scripture. See you tomorrow.